In the cosmic theater of interstellar highways, it's not just about moving objects from one point to another. It's a dance of strategy, risk, and reward. The very essence of commerce is elevated into an art form, where every transaction is a testament to one's foresight, resilience, and ambition. Prepare to immerse yourself in a universe where every choice matters, where fortunes can be made or lost in the blink of an eye, where the very essence of trade ascends beyond transaction, becoming a profound journey of discovery, challenge, and triumph. Welcome Immortals, I'm Vici Deum, here to compare the Crusader C2 Hercules Starlifter versus the Drake Caterpillar. I'll grade their utility, combat capabilities, handling, durability, and fun to run, so you make the best choice with your hard-earned money. And a special thank you to my channel members. Your support really helps me create this content, and we're starting right now. Utility. Step into the future of interstellar logistics with two trailblazing titans. Why settle for the ordinary when you can harness the extraordinary? These aren't just ships, they're revolutions, setting the gold standard in cosmic commerce. From the next generation cargo efficiency of the C2's state-of-the-art systems to the unparalleled adaptability of the Caterpillar's modular design. If you're serious about space trade and are looking for the best in the business, you're in for a thrilling showdown. The C2 is elegance and utility. With a vast 696 SCU cargo bay, you can accommodate an impressive variety of goods. Whether you're transporting a fleet of ground vehicles or pallets of precious materials, the C2 adapts seamlessly. Incorporating advanced tech, the C2 promises a smooth and efficient logistics experience. Integrating a thoughtfully designed interior that ensures crew remain at peak efficiency, allowing for longer hauls without fatigue or headaches, and with a simple design facilitates rapid deployment allowing for swift loading and unloading, saving you precious time and increasing your profits. But the Caterpillar is modular magnificence. Its adaptable design with unique customizable compartments turns the Caterpillar into a chameleon of utility, cargo capability, salvage support, or even a makeshift market. Whether using the full 576 SCU of storage for hauling or selecting sections for specific purposes, the Caterpillar can readily adapt to whatever situation you need the most. And with twin tractor beams and the ability to detach its cockpit opens up a variety of practical and emergent gameplay opportunities. From tactical recon to rescue missions, a robust escape pod, or even resource gathering, the limits of this ship's versatility are virtually unbounded. For these reasons, the Caterpillar gets a 5 out of 5. And for its cavernous cargo hold and ample internal amenities, the C2 gets a 3.5 out of 5. Durability. The vast cosmos is a realm of unpredictability, where each journey carries its share of trials and tribulations. But these are not mere vessels that skim the stars. They are fortresses of endurance, embodying the pinnacle of engineering resilience. Whether facing the icy embrace of deep space or the searing heat of a thousand suns, these titans have been crafted to triumph, to resist, and to endure. The C2 is a testament to fortitude. With an innovative hull design crafted from a blend of advanced alloys, offers over 80,000 hit points of hull protection. It's designed to withstand both external impacts and internal pressures. And incorporating integrated shield systems, twin size 3 large shields bring an additional 200,000 hit points of protection, ensuring that both cargo and crew are always safeguarded from harm. But the Caterpillar is an undying challenger. With a lineage of resilience, the Caterpillar's design has been honed with feedback from the universe's toughest sectors. A reinforced hull offers 45,000 hit points, resisting external threat and cargo-related incidents. Further protecting itself, the Caterpillar also adds twin-size three large shields to endure even the most demanding conditions. The C2 and Caterpillar are not just ships, they are testaments of durability. While the Caterpillar has less hull health, both offer over a quarter million hit points of combined protection. For their shared resilience, despite some small differences, both the C2 and Caterpillar get a 4 out of 5. 
Handling. In the vast expanse of space, nimbleness and precision are more than just virtues, they're necessities. As the dark void challenges every pilot's skills, two behemoths arise to the occasion. Their sheer size might suggest otherwise, but when it comes to deft handling, both ships offer surprising prowess. The C2 is mastery in motion. With precision thrusters and advanced vectoring systems, the C2 moves seamlessly, turning tight corners and adjusting courses fluidly. Combining integrated stabilization from top-tier gyroscopic systems, the C2 promises a stable flight even when heavily loaded, ensuring minimal cargo disruption and effortless landings. With adaptive flight models, the C-2 handles both atmospheric and interstellar flight with equal ease, and showcases the very best from Crusader Industries. But the Drake Caterpillar is an adaptable dynamo, with powerful rear thrusters bringing a robust propulsion output. The Caterpillar can execute course corrections and straight-line acceleration better than you'd expect in a ship of its size. With versatile and predictable performance, the Caterpillar demonstrates consistent handling, whether amidst dense atmospheres or the vastness of open space, but its weight is still felt in maneuvers, especially in atmospheres, and when fully loaded. For these reasons, the Caterpillar gets a 1.5 out of 5. But for its astonishingly good handling, that showcases why this ship is regarded as a masterclass in maneuverability, that belies a ship of its size, the C2 gets a 4 out of 5. Combat. Beyond the shimmering nebulas and tranquil trade routes lies a universe rife with peril and unpredictability. As starfarers venture deeper into the unknown, they are often met with challenges that demand more than just cargo capacity. Both freighters carry a reputation that transcends their primary functions. When hostile forces loom, these vessels demonstrate that their might is not solely reserved for heavy lifting. The C2 is the bulwark behemoth. With twin size 5 pilot hardpoints and two twin size 4 remote turrets, it packs a punch, with thoughtfully positioned angles offering strong offensive and defensive coverage. But the Caterpillar is a combat courier, bringing quad size 3 pilot hardpoints, one pair fixed with another gimbaled, along with twin size 4 turrets, offers enough power to make enemies think twice before pursuing its hold. For its adequate array of weapons, but given less sustained firepower, the Caterpillar gets a 2 out of 5. And for its arsenal and its ability to track targets more effectively, the C2 gets a 2.5 out of 5. Fun. Amidst the vast cosmos with its looming threats and infinite wonders, there lies an often underrated element, sheer, unadulterated fun. Whether it's the exhilaration of a risky cargo run, the spontaneous discovery of an uncharted space station, or just the simple pleasures of a zero-g stroll, both ships stand as testaments to the fun side of spacefaring. The C2 is a Herculean haven. With spacious interiors, captains and crew can enjoy all manner of in-ship activities through its vast halls, or enjoy its massive hold for ferrying their favorite ships to the local race. It's a practical and incredibly well-designed vessel, from the inside out, with plenty of room for activities and handling that'll always leave you with a smile on your face. But the Caterpillar is a modular marvel. With adaptive layouts using its unique modular design, players can Repurpose compartments for games, rec activities, custom lounges, exploration outfits, and so much more. With open-ended configurations, the Caterpillar begs players to experiment with its design, leading to hours of tinkering and customization fun. For its sheer potential to turn the universe into your personal playground, the Caterpillar gets a 4.5 out of 5. And for its incredible design and outstanding performance, but given more limited opportunities, the C2 gets a 3.5 out of 5. In the boundless expanses of the cosmos, these twin titans of freight cast colossal shadows across interstellar trade lanes. Both are celebrated for their monumental carrying capacity that redefine the gold standard for cargo transport. The Drake Caterpillar is a modular maestro with incredible adaptability that's as ever-evolving as the universe around you. This ship caters to those who crave versatility in their spacefaring 
seafaring endeavors. For these reasons, the Caterpillar gets a 17 out of 25. But the C2 is the ultimate cosmic courier that embodies celestial grandeur with logistical prowess. It doesn't just transport cargo, it defines an era of spacefaring superiority and efficiency. For its massive hold and majestic performance, the C2 narrowly takes the win with 17.5 out of 25. But which ship would you pick? I've loved flying the C2 and consistently keep this ship in my fleet's rotation. Since the Caterpillar's modularity still hasn't been introduced in-game, we don't know just how useful this will be. That said, I suspect this ship will be tremendously helpful in the future. But what do you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And if you liked this video, here's another I think you'd enjoy. Or if you want to watch more of these videos, here's the playlist. Either way, thank you, and I look forward to seeing all of you out there in the verse.